Ooh, what are you doing? <gasps> hey! What are you doing? Did you hear something? What's wrong? Is Daddy here to get us? <gasps> it's Daddy! Would you like to come up, my little darling girl? She was playing with the door, but then she heard you knock, so she wouldn't do it anymore. Ava. Oh. You're very pretty. Yeah. You ready to go bye-bye? Bye, Ricky. <laughs> your brother. Bye. Bye, Ava. Bye. Hi, Ava. Where are we going? Are we going bye-bye? We're going to Prescott. Are we going to go to McDonald's? Wendy's? <laughs> yeah, are you excited to get out of the house? No, I want to the house. You're not very social anymore. You were talking a lot when you would talk to Amber on the phone. Are you all talked out for the day? Hi. I love you. Staring, you're silly. <laughs> no, what's wrong? What are you afraid of? Oh, look where we're at. Ooh. The most unhealthy place for a child to eat. But that's okay, right? It builds your immunity. You gonna get some chicken? Do you want your own shamrock shake? Look. Uh, can I get Nothing a to show on the screen. It's so green. And a, um, Hi, cutie. Hi. <laughs> You're kind of starting to look like your Aunt Amber with your red hair and everything. Yeah. It's so funny how you keep associating her with Amber and them. It looks like me. You said it, her. Honey, that would be him. Ava, it's almost time to cut your bangs again. You got a piece over here that's not level. Well, Mom, you're the one who cut them. Ava. Say tea. No. Boop. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Where did Daddy go? Where did Daddy go? Look, there's our food over there. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Ava. Hey. Oh my goodness. Sit. You say cool. She's so cute. Yeah, I'm gonna freak out every time I hear a plane. <laughs> Thirsty? Oh, Daddy put your juice in the cup. That makes sense. <laughs> you have the hiccups? I'm sorry. guys um so i'm actually doing laundry right now finally it's almost six o'clock at night we didn't do a whole lot today we were really rather lazy ava didn't get out of bed till about 11 o'clock today and then we went over to mcdonald's which you guys should have seen videos for that 
But then we came straight home and I gave the kids a bath and we went right back to bed <laughs> for a nap. So we just got up too. And um, anyway, so I had a couple of interesting things go on today. I had one where um, Oliver's doctor's office called and said that our insurance was not going to process the claim from a doctor's appointment back in December. And we have been dealing with this situation for over a month now. I think it was um, January 10th when we started. We found out that our insurance didn't cover that. But uh, the thing was is that it was our, our HR department manager. Um, it was her fault because she added Oliver as a new member instead of a new baby to my insurance. And so he was put in as being covered after uh, January 1st, 2014, when he should have been covered um, by at least the 1st of December. So I, when I first called, they told me that I had to call our benefits manager and have her call them to fix it. And so I did that, and she was supposed to do that. And it never got fixed by her. And so I finally went to the director of um, the HR building because I just, I felt like I was getting nowhere talking to the manager and she wasn't doing her job. Or I don't think she knows how to do what she's supposed to be doing because she's new. So, but uh, I uh, went through the director and she said that it, it was finally all fixed after a week of her working on it. And for me to call my doctor's office and have them reprocess the claim. And so they, I did that on Friday. And that actually went, um, like, it was either Thursday or Friday. And so they did that. And then they called today again and said that the process or the claim was not processed. So they were going to have to put it in our hands, which we had already basically said that our company that we work for should have been held 100% responsible for that bill if it is not covered by my insurance because it is their fault. We, we had turned in the paperwork to have Oliver added to my insurance as a new baby within three weeks and you have 30 days to do it. So, so I called the insurance company myself today and I spoke with someone who was really, really good at everything and she went through and did some research and since I told her that Oliver was born October 26th, she knew then that he should have been covered last year. And so she spoke with one of her supervisors who put him, like she read that he was still not covered until January 1st. So that had not even been fixed by our manager or director of HR. So I got it fixed myself and um, they did a conference call between the insurance and myself and the doctor's office. And they said that the insurance will cover 100% of it because it was a well child, well, well baby. So, yeah. Um, and it was, it's almost $900. That's a big deal when we already have like two other bills that are that high and several little small ones. So we're paying almost $300 a month just on doctor bills. That's groceries right there for us each month. So that's a big deal for us to have to have another probably $80 to $100 bill on our hands is a big deal, especially when it was someone else's mistake and not ours. We did everything we possibly could towards that. So, But yeah, I guess it's being fixed now. So then the other thing is that we went to McDonald's and I... Um, we're sitting there and all of a sudden we hear a jet and stuff and it just got really, really, really loud. There is an airport over there, but it just seemed like it was really, really low. And I turned around and what I was seeing was a white car that was actually speeding, but I seriously thought it was the jet in the road. I don't know what was wrong with me. I just got up there and I'm like, oh my God. And Daniel was laughing at me. He's like, honey, what is wrong? And I was like, is that in the road? And he's like, no, it's, I mean, it's low. Not, a, it's not as high as it was supposed to be. They were really low. But he's like, you're seeing their shadow of the jet. You're not seeing, you're not seeing 
the actual jet. So, yeah, I was really embarrassed by that, but I'll get over it. <laughs> um, I just am like, I can't go to McDonald's anymore. They're going to sit there and look at me weird. So, anyway, um, sorry for the lack of video today. It's not going to be that exciting, but... Yeah, we're going to be going to doctor's appointment tomorrow and uh, getting all of our shots and then also getting new glasses for Daniel and I before we cancel our insurance since we're moving. So we've actually been paying for that insurance for three years now and we've never gotten glasses with it. <laughs> and uh, we actually tried at Costco, but they didn't cover it. So it actually has to go through JCPenney, I guess. And... Yeah, we could have bought like two pairs of glasses for each of us with that and the amount that we pay each month for the past three years. So it really was not worth getting insurance for. But yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, I will talk to you guys later. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye. Well, I actually forgot to mention one other thing. Um, there actually has been a plane land in the road out there about two years ago. So it's not like it's uncommon for that to happen. But anyway, yeah, so see you guys later. Bye.